Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Vision Chassis. Today we'll be walking through the features of the new Vision, which is the Vision Pro Chassis. Let's get right into it with the breakdown of my current setup. First and foremost, this Vision Pro Chassis is chambered in 6GT by GCP Rifle Co. Using the Curtis Customs Valor Action and a Proof Research Steel Competition Contour 1 in 7 twist 28 inch barrel along with an APA brake. Trigger Tech Diamond Trigger, Hawkins Rings, and a Leopold Mark V HD 7 to 35. If you want to snag one of these, GCP is the sole dealer of these in the United States and they are based out of Florida. For the features of this chassis itself, it is made of 7075 aluminum, which includes every single part from the main body to the magazine release catch. The walls have been made thicker and a lot of material has been added to any weak points which makes this a really durable chassis. Further, they move the barricade stop as close to the magazine well as possible. By doing so, it achieves a very good balance point with a full 26 inch barrel. The balance point is just 3 inches in front of the barricade stop and as a result does not require the use of weights in order to achieve a good balance. Some other features are the thumb rest. It is a little bit wider than the original Vision chassis, which I like, and the location of the thumb rest can be adjusted to different sections on the chassis as well, which there is two thumb rests included when you get it. The forend does include a full-length adjustable ARCA system for those who are running current ARCA-acceptable bipods, tripods, or other systems and will allow you to move them up and down the entire length of the forend. On the bottom of the forend, it does have RRS lock interface as well too. Inside, it does have bridges to make it even stronger. For the side, it does have 11 M-lock slots on each side along with QD sling cups on the forend and the buttstock as well. Moving to the top, it does have drilled and tapped holes for mounting top covers or an NV bridge here, and I have the full length and it mounts very flush to the entire system. You can see aside from the screws itself, it does have little retaining pins for more durability and alignment. The Pro Foreign does use proprietary internal weights made by Vision, but can also utilize other external weights via M-lock slots on the Foreign. On the very bottom, there is a separate channel milled out to accept what Vision is calling sticky bar weights. They are made in both brass for an added 8 ounces or so and from aluminum, which don't weigh much but add a lot of extra grip. Moving to the bottom, the barricade stop has some ribs to it and is wide as well for more surface area connection to any bags you may be running. The magazine latch is ambidextrous and has a true vertical adjustment to it as well, along with a magazine length adjustment. On the very bottom, there is a hole in the trigger guard for easy access in order to adjust your trigger pull weight, which is nice too. Moving to the top, the chassis does have compatibility for right hand or left hand actions and is a 700 footprint. Further, it does have more options to mount accessories like dope cards, timers, and more to the front end. With the back, the chassis does offer a folding option and can be broken down into some different configurations. For example, into a backpack like seen here, which is pretty nice. The buttstock itself offers a lot of options as well. Starting off with the butt pad, it does have quick adjustment, so there's no need to unscrew anything if on the fly trying to change the location of where you need to adjust it to. An adjustable cheek rest with a wide range of vertical and horizontal movement. By unscrewing this here, you can adjust the vertical. And for the horizontal, the internal screw found inside the cheek piece itself. It does have enough clearance as well if raised to the very top position to get inside and clean your barrel, which I like because you won't have to remove the entire cheek piece assembly. If you end up ever wanting to, it's very simple. You just unscrew this right here and it slides right out. The bag rider itself on the bottom is wider than the Gen 1, which I like a lot, and is adjustable. One thing I did notice is that they added a tiny cut for the cheek piece and the bag rider, so it gives a little bit more durability to it. The length of pull is adjustable by again unscrewing this nut to loosen and adjust where you need it to. As far as weights go, the butt pad actually has space to add internal weights, which you can see here. There are two more vacant spaces in the skeleton of the buttstock, which Vision is making two more types or sizes of weights to fill those voids. So all in all, there are three different types of weights in just the buttstock alone, and as of this video, they are for pre-order, but depending upon when you are watching this, they might be available now. Overall, the buttstock is great for many different configurations you will need to adjust it to, you as the shooter. The chassis by itself is 5.5 pounds. 
The max barrel diameter that can be used is 1.350 inches, and the overall length is 37.8 inches, depending upon the adapter block, which we will get to in a minute. The forearm length is 18.9 inches. It is compatible with AICS, AW, and AX pattern magazines, and the grip itself is compatible with any AR-15 style as well, too. For the adapter blocks for adjusting the length of pull even further, they have a short with three adjustments, 12.24 inches, 12.72 inches, and 13.19 inches. The medium they offer is 12.8, 13.3, and 13.8 inches, and the large is 13.15, 13.6, and 14.09 inches. With the chassis itself, when you receive it, it does come with a medium adapter block. Overall, the many different configurations this chassis offers is amazing, and I have really been liking it so far. Thanks for watching.